Hey beauty, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to my page so you don't miss the next upload. I cannot wait for you to watch this tutorial. I just feel like there are some very helpful tips on how to achieve a mermaid wave. Thank you in advance. Thank you so much for watching my videos and just for being here, taking the time out of your Instagram scrolling to come watch my hair tutorial. I know there's thousands of hair tutorials out there, but you guys are supporting me and it just means so much to me and I just can't wait to just continue creating content for you guys. Alrighty, so this is how my hair air dried today. Um, as you guys might know, I have Dreamcatcher extensions in my hair right now. So there's kind of like a little wave to it, but also this is my natural hair. So kind of have a natural wave. Um, I don't usually take advantage of it, but today it was drying really cute. So I just decided to go with it. So I'm just going to go in the direction that it's already going naturally and I'm going to create a mermaid wave just enhancing the natural texture. So if you want to see how I'm going to transform this hair to that hair, just keep on watching. Okay, so for today I'm going to be using a GHD straightener and a half inch curling iron. So once I got out of the shower, I just put my hair up in a towel while I did my makeup and then I took it down and it was like really cute. So I was like, not my usual, but hey, okay, I'm snowed in. I don't have anywhere to go, no one to see, which is unfortunate, but yeah, I figured I would try something new with my hair. So you guys get to watch. This is a learning experience for me because I've never done this style on myself. So let's just see where this goes. Okay, so I'm not going to section my hair or anything because I don't want it to end up with like massive like perfect curls. You know, I'm trying to get like Kind of like what's going on here, but more polished. So I don't wanna, I'm just not gonna section it. I'm kind of going like, what, what can be seen that needs to be fixed? That's how I'm going to approach this. So typically I start in the nape area. So I'm gonna be combining straightener curls and the curling iron curls. So let's start with the straightener. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clamp the hair and I'm just gonna do like a half circle and then a half circle, half circle, half circle. So you don't wanna just do like gentle waves because then it won't be very like obvious. You wanna do kind of like a dramatic C shape and then a C shape in the opposite direction. So you wanna try to make sure that your movements are very fluid, meaning like don't stop. Ooh, so cute. So I think this technique will be really good for the whole nape area because I just like to see some uniform shape right here because that can get kind of messy anyway. So the more control I have, the more comfortable I feel about my extensions being blended in and all that. Okay, so C shape, C shape. You can see I'm like holding the tail end of it, which kind of helps me just guide it. So I will like raise up the ponytail just so that my, my movement is much easier. So now I'm gonna repeat the same step on this side. So one major key to this hairstyle looking very organic 
is, in my opinion, don't put a brush through it. I haven't untangled my hair or anything. I just dropped it out of the towel and it was cute, so I shook it out. And I've just been using my fingers to kind of get through and detangle it. wrap it too tight it's gonna look very um, quinceanera ish you know we don't want that we want a beach wave so pay attention to how I'm going to drop and stretch out the curl so that it's more of like a long but like pronounced wave So I'm going to drop down and I'm just stretching it out. You see there? It's like a rope kind of. So this video probably isn't going to be posted for a few days, but today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Um, since technically Valentine's Day was not today. As you are watching this um, let me know in the comments what you did to celebrate Valentine's Day or if you despise Valentine's Day so I'm gonna do another flat iron curl here this is just the section behind my ears so kind of just like filling that area up with texture and this is the faster way in my opinion so that's what we're doing so it's really important for me to get these shorter hairs curled just right so that they won't like stick out like a sore thumb you know okay let's watch that one more time so you're gonna wrap around the curling iron you definitely want to let it heat up a little so that the waves can like hold. As you're dropping down, you want to unwind and drop down. So your hair doesn't have to be long for you to use this technique. This can be done on shorter hair too. It can also be done with bigger curling irons. I'm going to comb this out so you can see like the way that it gives. I feel like I should show you guys how this curl could go wrong. Because that's just the way I am. Okay, so this is what not to do with a half inch curling iron. Churros. It's not the look we're going for, not today. But if this does happen to you, just take your straightener over it very slowly and just like one or two passes should do the trick. So we're just gonna save this piece for last because I just personally feel like the bang is just like, the bang, you know, like. It's everything. So again with the section right behind my ear, I'm just gonna fill this space with a flat iron wave. So I don't think that we have any plans tonight, me and my husband. We actually didn't even really discuss Valentine's Day. We have been snowed in 
had a very eventful weather week. So today we woke up to like freezing rain and stuff. So it's kind of just like whatever happens, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna do my bang here. And what I what I like is when my bang starts, get some volume here, and then kind of comes as a C into my eye, and then out and in. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just start with an inward C, and then once I hit my eye level, I'll start making my way outward, and then back in, and then kind of straight at the end. Okay, now for the fun part, the money piece, the it's just the part of your hair that just puts it all together. It just completes the look, in my opinion. The bang. This got a little frizzy up here. So what I'm going to do is the flat iron waves all throughout just to give it that initial wave. And then I will decide if I want to throw in like the tighter more pronounced baby waves. So I kind of already like what's happening on my bangs, so I'm gonna follow this S pattern and just kind of smooth it out. Now I'm gonna put like a cream in my hair. I usually put this in just to kind of tame. So this is just like a very smoothing cream. So it's not adding texture or anything. All it's doing is decreasing frizz. And then, like, I don't know if you can see up here, there's a bunch of flyaways. So I'm just gonna take some Lumi Control, just like the tiniest amount, and I'm going to just rub it into my fingertips, and get it nice and warm. And then I'm just going to smooth out the flyaways. And last but not least, I'm going to be using Starring by Ted Gibson. This product is called Shooting Star Texture Meringue. And it's not a mousse, it's a meringue. Just like golf ball size. Just get it all over your hands and then just Kind of scrunch it into the hair. This is not like a mousse, it doesn't give like a crunchy feeling, it's kind of just like a soft, touchable texture. And that is it for the final look. This is what I like to call a mermaid wave. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope that you learned something new, a new technique with the flat iron, or maybe you are too afraid to use a half inch curling iron because that can be kind of scary. As long as you apply my tips, there should be no problem and you should be able to recreate this look at home. If you do, please tag me. My Instagram is at Conx Beauty. If you tag me, I would love to share it on my stories. So hopefully someone learned how to create mermaid waves today. So I know that many of you know that hairstyling is my passion, it's what I do, and it just comes very easy to me. But I am here because I want to teach all of you guys how to achieve these looks at home. I just personally want every woman to be able to create the hair that she wants in her own house with her own tools 
and just walk outside feeling so beautiful and so confident and hair is just like such a huge part of a woman's demeanor you know so thank you so much for watching i hope you all had a lovely valentine's day i know that was a while ago but today is valentine's day for me so it just wouldn't be right if i didn't wish you all a happy valentine's day